the Kraft Foods Company presents Willard Waterman as the Great Gildersleeve. The Great Gildersleeve is brought to you partially transcribed by the Kraft Food Company. Kraft, you know, makes Philadelphia brand cream cheese. The cream cheese that's been famous for quality since 1880. Delicious Philadelphia brand is so popular, it outsells all other brands of cream cheese combined. Enjoy it often. Just be sure you get genuine Philadelphia brand when you buy. Look for the red Kraft K on the silvery package. There's only one Philadelphia brand cream cheese, and it's made by Kraft. Remember, the world's favorite cheeses are made or imported by Kraft. Well, like every city in Hamlet at this season of the year, the great Gildersleeve's town of Summerfield is preparing for Christmas. The streets are a glitter with the lights. The store windows are bulging with gifts, and the siren call of Jingle Bells lures the customers into the shop. And enterprising boys like Leroy are busy devising money-making schemes to heed the call. Oh, 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 it's Bertie. Hey, oh. Uh, what is it, Leroy? I've got a great idea for making Christmas money. Here's what I'm going to do. Leroy, what are you shouting about? I've got a great idea, Mark. Wait till I tell you. Did you call me, Leroy? Bertie, I've got a great idea. You have? Well, what is it, my boy? Oh. Boy, what a great idea. All right, all right. What is it? Well, Uncle, you know everybody buys a Christmas tree for Christmas? Yeah, we know that, Leroy. Well, I just bought 144. <laughs> oh. 144? Christmas tree? Yeah, 12 dozen. What you gonna do, Leroy? Give them for presents? Nah, that's why I'm gonna make my big money for Christmas. That's my great idea. Selling trees. Yes. Leroy, where'd you get the money to buy so many Christmas trees? Well, I took all my money out of the bank. You oh, my goodness. My boy, you didn't have that much money. Well, I bought part of them on consignment. Consignment? Now, that's the term us merchants use when we haven't got much money. <laughs> Imagine that, 144 trees. Leroy, don't you think you should have consulted your old uncle before going so far? Well, gosh, Uncle, everybody buys a Christmas tree. How can I lose? I thought you'd be proud of me. Well, we are, but... Well, I'm not a little kid anymore. I didn't want to ask you for money to buy you a present. Uh, well... I want to buy, buy Marge something, and, and Bronco, and the twins, and Bertie. Oh, bless your heart. And I got baths to think about this year. Yeah, yes, of course, you can't forget your little girlfriend. Heck no. And you can't give a girl like Babs anything dinky. Oh, where are you going to put the trees, Leroy? Oh, I forgot to ask you. How about selling them off your lot next door, Marge? Oh, I think that'd be all right. Bronco and I won't start building until after the holidays. Gee, thanks. I'll have them delivered this afternoon. Okay with you, Unc? Well, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah, and when they're delivered, I want you to get the best one. Before they're all picked over, huh? This year, our tree's on me. Mm, yeah, Leroy, that's a nice thought. But you can't make money giving your trees away. Don't worry, I'll make money. Oh, say, i got to have lights on the lot. Yeah, where will you get the lights? From you. Oh, I... Huh? I'll run an extension cord from the house. I'll take the cord out of your study, and then there's a long one on the radio, and then I'll get the one off the washing machine, and there's one behind the couch. Hmm. If we want to wash clothes or read, we'll have to go over to Leroy's lot. <laughs> oh, boy, I'm going to make a mint. Hey, Bertie, can I borrow your little dinner bell? My dinner bell? What are we going to do, eat over that, too? No, but i got to attract customers. <laughs> I can see Leroy over there now ringing the dinner bell. Mr. Gillespie, he's going to sell Christmas trees with a dinner bell. Well, it might help her. <laughs> yes, sir. Selling Christmas trees with a dinner bell. Ding dong, Christmas trees. Come get them while they're hot. <laughs> <laughs> Of you to help me nail stands on the trees, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do a few more, Leroy. Then I'll have to go clean up. You going over to see my, uh, Bab's mother tonight, Unc? No, not tonight. There's a Jolly Boys meeting. Well, we have about three dozen stands ready. Maybe that'll last us through this evening. Yeah, that'll be a good night's business. Yeah, I've just been figuring. If I make 50 cents profit on each tree and sell three dozen, that's $18 profit for the first day. Say, not bad. How about that, Unc? Just starting 
man's business and making $18 a day. You know, I'll wait. Oh, let's see. Three dozen full tonight, uh, and I can sell them all day Saturday. Say, I better go buy more trees. <laughs> you know, I'll wait until you sell your first one. You know, here comes what could be a customer. It's Babs. Hi, Babs. Hello, Leroy. Good evening, Mr. Gildersleeve. Hello, Babs. How's your mother? Oh, well, she's fine. Oh, what beautiful trees. It's beginning to look like a forest. Come on, I'll show you around my lot. Will you excuse us, Mr. Gildersleeve? You go right ahead, kiddies. I have some more nailing to do. Oh, uh, by the way, Unc. Yes, Leroy? You can knock off work whenever you want to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you, boss. Uh, what a fine executive that boy is going to make. <laughs> You see, Babs, I put the little trees in front and the big ones behind so everybody can see my merchandise from the street. Leroy, you're so smart. Well, I'm making $18 a day. Like I was telling Unc, uh, who's working for me now, I uh, may have to buy more trees. In fact, I may have to open up a couple more lots. Babs, how'd you like it if I get to be known as Leroy the Christmas Tree King? <laughs> That'd be wonderful. Yeah. How do you like Leroy's lot bag? Mr. Gildersleeve, I'm very proud of Leroy, the Christmas tree king. Uh, Christmas tree what? King. I got plans, Unc, and trees are just the beginning. Next Easter, I may go into lilies. Oh, my goodness. Easter lily Leroy. <laughs> George, I'm proud of Leroy. He's a real go-getter, just like me. Yeah, I can't wait to tell the Jolly Boys. Well, sounds like Floyd's warming up the piano. Well, Gilday. Hello, Judge. Floyd. Hi, Commissioner. From the way the stairs were creaking and groaning, I thought it must be the water commissioner. <laughs> Judge, I know you never have any trouble getting up the stairs. Old goats are such good climbers. <laughs> Too cherry to you, Judge. That's French. I know, Floyd. Uh, where's Peavy and Chief Gates? That must be them coming up now. Must be. See, the two men are a horse. Hello, fellas. Hello, Chief. Hi, man. We were waiting for you, Peavy. Mm -hmm. Hello, Mr. Gildersleeve. And hello to all the rest of you, too. Peavy. Okay. Everybody's here. Is there any business come before the club? Okay. No business. Let's sing. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Floyd, I have some business to bring up. Oh? Are the Jolly Boys going to have a tree again this year? We always do. Certainly. It wouldn't be Christmas without a tree. Yeah, as long as we're going to buy a tree. I suggest we buy it from an enterprising young businessman of my acquaintance. Who, you? <laughs> <laughs> no, Petey. This Christmas, little Leroy is launching on his first big business venture. Yeah? He's selling trees on Marjorie and Bronco's lot. Oh. The boy bought 12 dozen. 12 dozen? My, my. <laughs> He took his savings out of the bank and negotiated the whole deal himself. Well, fellas, by all means, we should buy our tree from Leroy. Yeah, Leroy's a good kid. I agree. Me too. Yeah, fine. But we don't want to wait too long. Leroy's afraid he'll run out of trees. Well, why don't we adjourn the meeting now and go buy our tree now? Now, how about singing the song first? I've been working all night limbering up my fingers. Yeah, well, are you in as good voice as I am, Chief? P.B. You'll never catch me off base. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, I asked. Yeah. Well, let's gather around the piano, fellas. Yeah, and since we ain't got much time, why don't we tackle this one we know? That's a good one. Down by the old mill street. You ready? Down, Down by the old mill
right down our street, Floyd, next to the house. I know where it is. I hear uh, Leroy shining up to Mr. Board's niece these days. <laughs> yeah, I think that's behind this whole project, Chief. He wants to give Babs a nice Christmas present. Throw it down, Floyd. Look, Leroy has a light on the lot. Yeah, Leroy's thought of everything. Hey, come here. I thought you warned us to come early. The lot's loaded with trees. Mm. I don't see any customers. Well, we're here. It's so dark. He hasn't recognized us yet. Christmas trees! Christmas trees! Christmas trees! Doesn't sound like he's doing very well. Hi, kid. Leroy. It's us, the Jolly Boys. Oh, hello. Leroy. Hello, Leroy. Nice lot you have, Leroy. It's terrible. How are things going, my boy? All I've sold is three trees. The only three? Well, that's a start. Oh, excuse me, here comes a car. Christmas trees! Christmas trees! No. The car didn't even slow down. He's a poor kid. Something has to be done about this. Yeah. Gosh, how many cars come down this street? Well, we did. And we want a tree for the Jolly Boys Club. Yeah? Hey, Leroy, I've been thinking. I ought to get a tree for my barber shop. Good idea, Floyd. I might be able to make room for one in the drugstore. <laughs> what do you think of that, my boy? You know, I might just set a precedent and buy one for the inmates of the jail. <laughs> Always seems a little cold around Christmas at the jail, with the bars and all. <laughs> then, of course, we'll all want one for our homes, and I think I'll put a little one on the bench in the courtroom. Well, Leroy, show us some trees. Business is picking up, isn't it? Oh, you just feel sorry for me, because I'm a failure. Leroy. You're not a failure yet, my boy. Heck no. Besides, you're such a young failure. <laughs> Leroy. Huh? Leroy. Hi, Bab. Oh, you look busy. Can I help? Oh, poor Mr. Gildersleeve. Oh, Bab. You know everybody, I believe. Oh, yes, I do. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi, Bab. Bab. Hi, Leroy's doing pretty well. Don't you think so, Bab? Oh, sure. He just opened this afternoon. He's already sold three trees. That's pretty good. When I opened my pharmacy, all I had the first day was one customer. Yeah. Did you hear that, Leroy? Oh, I kind know of I'm licked. Leroy. Yeah? Here's a dollar and a half. I'd like this tree right here. Oh, Babs, you don't have to do that. You've already bought three. <laughs> yeah, here's a truck stopping. Leroy, here's a real customer. No, that's just the guy with another dozen trees I ordered. <laughs> Thirteen dozen trees. That could be unlucky. The Great Gildersleeve will be back in just a minute. Now you can make luscious creamy smooth fudge, an amazing new way, a way that gives you perfect fudge every time. Fudge that's never grainy, never too hard, never too soft, but always wonderfully smooth. And this fudge is easier to make because there's no guesswork, no cooking, no testing, no beating to worry about. The magic ingredient in this new fudge recipe is Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Yes, Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Have a pencil and paper handy. And in just a minute, I'll tell you how to get your free, that's right, free pamphlet with easy recipes for five different varieties of this fudge. Fudge you make with Philadelphia brand cream cheese is more perfect, easier to mix and make, and more delicious because Philadelphia brand has such wonderful, creamy richness. Try this wonderful new fudge soon. Just be sure you make it with genuine Philadelphia brand cream cheese. The cream cheese that's guaranteed fresh by Kraft. Look for the red Kraft K that's on every silvery package of genuine Philadelphia brand to help you pick the real thing at a glance. Remember, genuine Philadelphia brand cream cheese is made only by Kraft. Now, to get your free pamphlet with easy recipes for five different kinds of luscious Philly fudge, just write to Kraft Kitchen, Box 6567, Department G, Chicago 77, Illinois. That address again... 
Kraft Kitchen. Box 6567, Department G, Chicago 77, Illinois. Right tonight. <laughs> Let's get back to the great Gildersleeve. Christmas is no time to have a big problem. It's a time to be joyful around the Christmas tree. But there is such a thing as having too many Christmas trees, such as Leroy's 13 dozen. Marjorie, come to the window. Look at Leroy standing over there on the lot. Up to his neck in trees and up to his ankles in snow. And Babs is over there trying to cheer him up. Well, I have to give Leroy credit. He certainly stays on the job. Yeah. He's only sold five trees so far. Three to Babs last night and two this morning. <laughs> he wouldn't let the Jolly Boys help him out. Well, if Leroy gets stuck with all those trees, he isn't going to have much of a Christmas. I'll get it! I'll go to the door, Bertie. <laughs> Marjorie, may I come in a minute? Why, of course, Babs. Thank you. Let me get some of the snow off my shoes. Yeah, come in, Matt. Good morning, Mr. Gildersleeve. I, I came in to get warm. Babs, it's very loyal of you to stand by, Leroy. I, I stayed out there as long as I could. I feel so sorry for him. Well? Mr. Gildersleeve, what are we going to do about all those trees? Yeah, I'm afraid that's no easy solution. I guess the lot isn't a good spot for business. But we have to do something. Leroy practically admitted that he was doing all this for me. He wants to give me something nice for Christmas. Oh, now, Bab. Leroy will come out all right. Uncle Mort will see to that, won't you, Auntie? <laughs> will you, Mr. Gildersleeve? Well, I've been trying to figure out some way to help him. Mr. Gildersleeve, I think you're wonderful. You do? <laughs> now I'm beginning to understand why my mother is so fond of you. You say, Paula, you mean your mother is fond of me? Well, I think she is. At least I'm sure she would be if you got Leroy out of this jam. <laughs> what a little operator. <laughs> well, naturally, I'm thinking of Leroy first. Oh, well, naturally. But I know you think of Mother, too. Well, yes. <laughs> I'll bet Babs would never get stuck with a bunch of Christmas trees. Babs? Oh, yes, Bertie. I thought you'd come in so I'd fix some hot cocoa for you and Leroy. Would you like to take it over? Oh, sure, I'll take it. It's good and hot. It's very thoughtful of you, Bertie. In fact, everybody's being so thoughtful. Especially you, Mr. Gildersleeve. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Goodbye, Babs. Cha-cha, Babs. You going to help Leroy, Mr. Gildersleeve? Mm, Bertie, I've tried to, but he's proud. He doesn't want help. That poor little boy. Yeah, I took the Jolly Boys over to buy trees, but Leroy said they were doing it because we felt sorry for it. That poor little boy. <laughs> no, Bertie. Look at that poor little boy warming his hands over the cocoa cup. <laughs> that poor little boy. You know, Brock, when I were downtown and other lots were selling trees. I noticed that, too. They're doing a land office business. But that poor little boy. Please, Bertie. Because them other lots know how to attract attention. They got Christmas music and loud speakers. Mm. All Leroy has is a dinner bell. <laughs> Mr. Gill, please. How'd it be if you was Leroy's loud speaker? What's this, Bertie? You and them jolly boys sing songs. Why don't you sing songs on Leroy's lot? That should attract attention. It certainly should. But it isn't a bad idea, Auntie. Right, George, it might work at that. Anything for Leroy. Yes, sir. You bet. I'll round up the Jolly Boys. We may even dress up like those English carolers with long red stocking caps and tassels. <laughs> but, Auntie, won't you men feel a little silly? Well, we'll make Leroy the Christmas tree king, even if we have to be the court jester. <laughs> <laughs> What do you say, Petey? Are you willing to stand up and sing for Leroy? Well, Mr. Gildersleeve, Mrs. Peavy's mother is here for the holidays. Yeah, she is. And I need a pretty good excuse to get out of the house. <laughs> this is certainly a dandy. <laughs> oh, great. See you tonight, Petey. It's just a way of helping Leroy meet the competition. 
Who do you say, Floyd? Anything for Leroy Commission. Judge? Fine with me, Gildy. Shall I bring my flute to set the pitch? Yes, me. We need more help than a flute. <laughs> you know, I, I thought we'd take the piano from up in the Jolly Boys Club. But, Gildy, by the time we lug the piano downstairs, we won't have enough wind to sing. <laughs> hey, why don't we get Chief Gates to send the paddy wagon over first? Great idea. See you later, fellas. <laughs> Chief, uh, send the paddy wagon to the Jolly Boys Club right away. Why? What have we done? <laughs> Here, I forgot to explain. Now, here's the plan, Chief. See? We want to get the piano from the Jolly Boys Club and load it on the paddy wagon. your little bell away. The Jolly Boys are coming over to help you. What are you going to do? What's that patrol wagon pulling up for? And what are the Jolly Boys doing in it? Yes, they're bringing a piano. A piano? Leroy, I know you haven't wanted any help. But how does it be if we Jolly Boys attract some customers for you? Yeah? How? Well, by standing out in the curb and singing songs. Well, gosh, I'm desperate. I'll try anything. Yeah, a boy. You just get ready to sell trees. We'll do the rest. Easy now, Peter. You help me with this end. All right, but I'll have to drop this end. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'd better go help. Oh boy, I'll go over and get back. She can help me sell cream. Yeah, let me give you a hand, fellows. Right. Yeah, you. Yeah. There. We'll leave the piano right here at the curb, Gildy. Then we can gather round it and sing. You're a good idea, Judge. Right into the street light. Yeah, we need some light to read those carols. Ain't like we was singing for a mile mind. Well, here comes the chief. Now we can get started. Sorry I'm a little late, man, but I had a few things to take care of. Yeah, well, that's all right, Chief. Floyd, pick out a good one and let's get started. Okay. Floyd, may I make a suggestion? Yes, yeah, sure. Before you start to play the piano, take your mittens off. <laughs> How about singing Good King Wenceslas? We can't even pronounce that one. <laughs> hey, look at all the cars passing down this street. Yeah, we must be good. Traffic's picked up, we ain't even opened our mouths. <laughs> I wonder where they're coming from. Well, fellas, that's why your chief of police was a little late. I had to put up a few detour signs. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right, your chief. You're all right. Good evening, gentlemen. Well, it's Bertie. Oh, hiya, Bertie. Good evening, Bertie. I thought you'd like some hot coffee. Well, that's mighty thoughtful, Bertie. Oh, fine, Bertie. Put it on the piano. We're about to sing a song. Yes, I think I'll listen. Come on, Ben. Hey, look, look at all the traffic. But well, nobody's stopping. Well, they will. Okay, fellas, deck the halls and make it good. Deck the halls with the Anybody feel something's wrong? <laughs> I was on key. Gosh, the cars aren't stopping. They're just going by faster. <laughs> I can't believe it was such a good idea. Why isn't it working? Well, Babs, maybe we weren't singing loud enough. Bertie, you know music. What's wrong with us? I don't think Bertie learned it, Dan. <laughs> well, Mr. Gilsey, maybe you gentlemen don't know that one so well. Why don't you try Jingle Bell? Well, gosh, Uncle, let's do something while the traffic's heavy. Yeah, we're trying, Leroy. Bertie, why don't you lead us? Glad to try if you want me to. It's a good idea. Here we go, gang. Dancing through the snow In a one-night open sleigh For the fields we go Laughing all the way Bells on Bob's Hill ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a playing song tonight. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse over sleigh. Oh, fun, 
Wonderful, Bertie. Just you, wonderful. Sir. Hey, they're starting to come in. Well, now that the people are stopping, we jolly boys should sing a song. Well, now I wouldn't say that. <laughs> well, let's not frighten them away again. Bertie, another song, please. I'd really like to, Miss Gilson. Now, we got one all picked out, haven't we, Bertie? Yes, sir. Don't push, folks. We got trees for everybody. This one's for little Leroy. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree, how faithful are thy branches. Your boughs are green throughout the year, resplendent in a light in Gildersleeve will be with us again in just 30 seconds. For a variety of delicious snacks and sandwiches you can make quickly, easily, get the two wonderful new kinds of Philadelphia brand cream cheese. There's Philadelphia brand filled with tiny bits of chives and Philadelphia brand with little pieces of red pimento all through. Enjoy them both. Just be sure you get genuine Philadelphia brand cream cheese. Look for the red craft K that's on every silvery package to help you pick the real thing at a glance. Remember... Philadelphia brand green cheese is made only by Kraft. And this is Gildersleeve again, folks. In the past, at Christmas time, our show has featured the story, Why the Chimes Rang. Many of you have written asking to hear it again this year. We're happy to know you enjoy this story as much as we do. So, be with us next Wednesday for our Christmas program. Till then... Good night, everyone. The Great Gildersleeve is played by Willard Waterman. The show is written by John Elliott and Andy White and is partially transcribed. Included in the cast are Walter Tetley, Mary Lee Robb, Lillian Randolph, Barbara Whiting, Arthur Q. Bryan, Ken Christie, Earl Ross, and Dick Legrand. Original music composed by Jack Meekin. This is John Heaston saying good night for the Kraft Foods Company, makers of those famous Kraft quality foods. Be sure to listen in next Wednesday for the Gildersleeve Christmas Story. Question. What's the best way to raid an icebox? Answer. With Kraft prepared mustard, of course. Because when you add a little Kraft mustard to the sandwich you make, you add a lot of tang. And here's something for you professional icebox raiders to remember. There are two kinds of Kraft mustard. Mild Kraft mustard with that delicately spiced smooth flavor. Ah, and then there's snappy Kraft mustard with horseradish added. Have both kinds on hand. Then you won't meet up with a dish, but what you'll have just the mustard to add a lot of tang. Buy Kraft's prepared mustard. Groucho Marx, you bet your life. He's next on NBC.